So my brother said, I don't feel comfortable staying at my parents' house because my dad has moved in and I feel very uncomfortable right now because I told him to and I already packed some of my stuff four years since they've been separated. So he says, I don't feel comfortable staying at my parents' house because my dad has moved in. Your real dad, right? I'm assuming, your real dad. And I feel very uncomfortable right now. And, oh, and you told him. You told him that you feel uncomfortable. And you already packed your stuff. Okay, so before we go any further, before we go any further, this is your real dad with your mom, correct? Your real mom. Correct? Before we go any further. Because this is this is valuable right here. I like this. This is this is valuable. Somebody need to hear this. He does things which are not good. Cigarettes and drinking beer. Huh? Okay. Okay. So, okay. So you feel uncomfortable. Now, this, this is what I would say. Running away from issues in life is never, the, never, never, never a good thing. It should never be the goal. Because what are you, 16, right? If I'm not mistaken, 17? Takim, you know what I think, bro? Already, you told him you addressed your dad and told him, hey, look, I feel uncomfortable. I don't like you doing what you're doing. And you a grown-ass man. By the looks of it, you're going to continue to keep doing what you've been doing. And I don't like it. Oh, you're 22. Y'all know what he need, y'all. Y'all know what he need? <laughs> this is what he need right here. This is what he need right here. This is what he need right there. Y'all read that? Y'all read that? <laughs> That's what he need. Because <laughs> guess what? If you had your... Mm. Boy, I feel for you on a different level, boy. Mm. Mm. I got the goosebumps just thinking about this shit. <sighs> Okay. Okay. I, bro, there's so many different ways I can go about this, but okay, let, let me just say this. Let me just say this. You got your own money, man. You got your own car. You stay with them. It's fine. Fuck, who cares? But do you have your own shit? I really hope you understand. Oh, trust me, bro. I do. Trust me. I do, man. Trust, trust, and believe that. I most definitely do. But you know what, man? I'm going to say this. There is a couple things that anybody, nobody, cannot take away from you. A couple things. You ready? One, your dignity, your heart. Nobody should ever be able to take that shit away from you. I don't care how tall, how big, mama, dog. Brother, baby, bro, it should not matter. Your heart, your integrity should always remain. Okay? Number two. Of course, unless you can help it, nobody should take your purpose away from you. Nobody should take your goals away from you. Don't let nobody diminish you because you're 22 and you staying at the crib because, you know what I'm saying, you having situations at your mama house, but you're 22 and maybe your friends or your peers think that, you know, you're a grown ass man, so you should be able to, you should move out and listen, that's always not the best thing to do. That's, bro, even though I'm 21 and I moved out, it's definitely, it's definitely debatable on if it was quote unquote the right thing to do to, to other people. I mean, I, I know it was the right thing to do. I couldn't be around that. And I was already ahead of them, already ahead of the curve. So 
What I'm about to tell you is what I've been doing ever since I was 17. I made sure. What is my purpose? I didn't talk to nobody. I was about to graduate high school. I didn't listen to nobody else's thoughts. I didn't get, uh, uh, what they call it, peer pressured, influenced by any other sources. I started to meditate. I started to take walks, long walks, long, long walks, get lost type of walks, okay? And I started to take a, take a big ass notebook and just start writing. Just start writing how I feel and what I want out of my life. That's what I did. So then, I knew, I already got heart. I'm already determined. Whatever I, whatever I put my mind to, you too, Takim, all y'all. Whatever I put my mind to, it will be accomplished. It will be accomplished. So I don't know if you already got some money aside, whatever, but I'm just letting you know, man, your heart, your purpose, and your grind. Nobody should be able to take that shit away from you because you feel uncomfortable, you should be able to change it. You should be able to fix it. Y'all know the saying, control what you can control. Bro, that's messed up. But I've been there. We've been, we've all been there. Mama on her ass. Dad talking that stupid shit. We don't want to hear that. Or shit, dad ain't our life. Mom ain't around. They all at work. I'm by myself. I want some love. I, I want a hug or something. You know, I... I know, man. Nets, white tick mark, bucks, white tick mark, heat underscore. So, I just want to let you know, man, and all y'all out there, Get on your purpose, bro. You, you, join, somebody give give Takeem the Discord link. Give Takeem the Discord link. I'm going to send you this, bro, okay? I, I ain't about to show y'all all the 411, but if, if you know, you know. Man, you got, bro, you have to, have to get on your shit, bro. Because guess what? In your parents' mind, especially with your dad as a man, he's thinking in the sense that, Oh, shit. Well, guess what? He at the crib, so he ain't doing shit. Or you might be working. You ain't doing shit. You ain't doing nothing for real, for real. Because you, because if, if you were, you'd have moved out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all got to understand that people do not really value your presence until it's gone. When you leave away, and it, is, it does not have to be, you know, you transcending, you dying or nothing like that. It could just be you moving to a different city, you moving to a different state, you ghosting them, not talking to them, putting your head down and getting lost. Focus, focus on what's important because you don't want to feel that way. We all, bro, we all don't want to feel that way. We all don't want to feel that uncomfortability in our living situation where we know we can change it. We don't want to feel that way. Nobody does. So join the discord. Okay, I'm going to send you this, what I have right next to me, and I sent it to hella people earlier today, and then we can, we, can go, we can go from there, but I hope everything is better for you, bro. Stay, you know, stay, keep giving yourself positive affirmations, keep talking positive to yourself, don't run away, it's going to get better, yeah, all, all that good shit, man.